Google continues to woo enterprise and big business, but there are great things here for companies of any size. In fact, you'd expect smaller businesses to be quicker to embrace and adopt what was announced today, especially considering the enhancements to Google Sheets, G Suite, and lowering the bar to entry for sophisticated AI and ML tools. Hello, cloud gurus. I'm Matthias Anderson, and welcome to day two of our special edition of GCP This Month live from Google Cloud Next in San Francisco. Thomas Kurian, CEO of Google Cloud, was back on stage this morning with another reminder to enterprises that Google is definitely awake to their needs and challenges. And not just awake, actually, but that they also have the tools and services enterprises need to migrate to and succeed in the cloud. Anthos was once again called out as the central service that binds everything together, with Kurian declaring, Anthos is the future of cloud. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Urs Hulzel, the senior vice president for technical infrastructure at Google, delivered a bunch of announcements with a focus on reassuring companies that Google has security and data privacy covered. This included directly confronting concerns that Google might do something they shouldn't with your data. To this point, Google has been rolling out their access transparency to more and more parts of Google Cloud. Over and above standard audit logging, access transparency gives you near real-time logs tracking any data access by Google Cloud Platform administrators, such as might happen when you authorize them to do so for troubleshooting purposes. Both Holzel and Kurian spent time reinforcing this message, your data is your data. Additional announcements included lots more vulnerability scanning and threat detection, centralized visibility, software security keys on Android devices, and other things designed to earn your trust and help you adopt the BeyondCorp security model. An example given was migrating an app onto Anthos and then securing it with the identity-aware proxy. Very interesting. The theme was to spend less time on security activities by taking advantage of more security features and designing your system to be more intrinsically secure. Google also announced today a number of products and features designed to make Google Cloud the best place to run Microsoft Windows applications. These included hardened Windows VM images, Cloud SQL support for Microsoft SQL Server, and a full managed Active Directory product coming later this year. One of the highlights of the keynote was around empowering businesses of all scales with artificial intelligence and machine learning and the various offerings target some very different levels of capability. One thing that showed why G Suite falls under the Google Cloud umbrella was connected sheets, which can allow any spreadsheet user to harness the power of BigQuery. Another new product, Data Fusion, allows you to drag and drop together an ETL pipeline, no coding necessary. Google also announced new AutoML functionality, including AutoML Video Intelligence and AutoML Tables. The latter lets you use a structured data table, pick a key column of interest, and then send it off to figure out which model to use. Soon thereafter, you can start predicting that column based on values for the other columns. No need for any SQL or TensorFlow. The next step then is to integrate this into your current business intelligence workflow, converting existing historical reporting tools into predictive, forward-looking ones powered by artificial intelligence. Integrate your BI with AI. Today, we also got more under-the-radar announcements and hints that those announcements will be developed further in the upcoming developer keynote. So tune back in tomorrow for more interesting stuff from Google Cloud Next 19 in San Francisco. Keep being awesome, cloud gurus.